Hello and welcome to Harare Sports Club. It's day one of the first test of the Osaka Batteries present Service Tires Zimbabwe versus Pakistan Test Series 2021. We've got Barbara Azam and Brendan Taylor for Zimbabwe and who's got the coin? Brendan will toss. Heads is the call. It's a tail, Zimbabwe. And it's a uh, tails. Zimbabwe have won the toss. And uh, Brendan, what are you going to do? We're going to have a bat, thank you. Well, no surprises there. Surface looking very dry. This is the Zimbabwean side and Garava also on debut. I'm joined by Akhil Samar. Akhil, take us through the Pakistan side. Yes, Pakistan having one change. Tom Spinner, Noman Ali. And the pace attack can once again consist of Hassan Ali and Shaheen Shah Afridi. Once again, supervising. But the Kevin Kasuza and uh, Prince Mashaure, capable at this level. Just need to kick on now. That's his career, just into his eighth match. The first new ball, Shaheen Shah Afridi. And what a beauty! That is a beautiful delivery. Langton Rosere. Getting the ball moving away from the left-handed batsman. What a beauty to begin with. Pulled him! There was a bit of gap between the bat and pad. Perhaps for the first time I was uh, trying to go for that drive inside edge and went on to hit the stumps. Very unfortunate for the opener, Hassan Ali. Pakistan have drawn the first blood. Kasuza is back in the head. None for one, Zimbabwe. New man in is. Streaky from Masaure. Let's soften the hands as. Uh... Runs for Musakanda. He's off the mark. Good connection for the right-handed batsman. A huge chase for Fawad Alam. They are coming back for the third run as well. Now that's better. And look at the result. Four runs straight back past the bowler. Oh, bit of extra bounce. He was looking to leave that, Sakanda. Edge taken. Bit of extra bounce as well. So when you do that, you want to be compact. You want point of contact to be under the eyes, and we just see that hands pushing in front of the eyes, and then that happens. Good ball. He has been in trouble a couple of times this morning, and a well-deserved wicket for Shaheen Afridi. Prince Vasuari, 11, Zimbabwe, 18 for two. 2020 versus Bangladesh. Wow. He's given that a bit of air, and Musakanda has given it more. This it should release some pressure on the batsman. First maximum of the innings. Huh? Enough is enough. Said by Tarasai Musakanda. Played with control in the air, but no problem. And with full swing of the bat. Kept Zimbabwe very quiet. Oh, yeah. And he's bowled him. Manali winning that little battle against Musakanda. Went on with the arm. The batsmen were shocked. Stumps were rattled. And finally, Numan getting the first wicket of his series. That is Sai Musakanda is gone. That's his first class career. Just nine. Make that 30 for four to the attack and getting the wicket. What a master stroke by the captain, Babar Azam. Brandon Taylor were desperate for some runs. Wit was offered, played with straight bat, thick solid outside edge, and Pakistan have been immaculate in the slip guard. And this morning, Brandon Taylor is gone. Have a look at his first class career. Drives. Thickish. That's in the air, but it'll uh, be safe. I think he got into good position pretty early. I think are made. I'll create it, isn't it? Because uh, this is the perfect place to get yourself a really, really big score. Because essentially they've... they've oh, yeah. Just that. 
little punch down the ground from uh, Milton Shumba for four and then putting away every bad ball whenever it comes. Just passes through that wake and slip Gordon. Yeah, this is uh, a better stroke. Uh, he's just turned away. I'll come back to that, Sekunda. This is a really nice stroke from Milton Shumba. He's turning the face on that and uh, it just beats the fielder at back foot point. More runs here. That's good running. Three. They're looking to score against Shaheen. Uh, it looks like that's uh, in Tarazi Falls. We'll come back to that because uh, Kaya has played. That is a beautiful stroke. You talked about the length being pulled back because he had played a couple of times. Just to wrap things up. Edged and as it dropped. Sekunda. Milton Shumba just getting the outside edge and Buffield is there. Cracked away. I talked about him playing the sweep and the slog sweep well. No, 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 run out chance here. Oh, it's close. We're going upstairs. He's the man who can see where the ball's gone. And he wanted the single. It's well fielded. And there you have it. Down by Babrazam. But this time the run out confirmed. There. Misunderstanding. Have a look at this in real time. No, there was no run because your partner at the strikers wasn't ready for it. Pick up and throw. I think that's Fawad Alam. And nicely done by Sajid in the end. So what they were fearing not to lose this partnership has happened. Milton Shumba goes for 27. Okay. Starts to go downtown on this one. Finds that vacant area. And, uh, oh, diga, diga. That's one way to transfer. Yeah. Beautiful shot into the gap for four runs. And with this comes up the 100 for Zimbabwe. Reverse swing, no doubt. That's just uh, a little bit wider, well put away by Kaya. And that might just reach a boundary. Will it not? Great effort in the outfield. Oh, just finds the outside edge of the bat again. But oh, nicely set him up and given. Took a little. Zimbabwe now 124 for six. Almost perfect Yorker from Hassan Ali here. It's just a uh, really, really good bowling that I bowled him uh, three really quick bounces and follows up with a really quick Yorker to finish off the work. Zimbabwe now are 124 for six. Just coming, we see that best of nine. Gone. Wicket number seven. And the off air, we were just talking earlier about how it's starting to reverse swing for the Pakistanis here. I think this is probably a sign and uh, Donald Tiripano is, sorry, Regis Chakava is back in the hut. Caught bat ball, Hassan Ali for 19. Good ball, first up to a new batsman. He manages to get bat onto it. In fact, gets four. Runs here. Well swept by Chisoro. I'll get four. Seasons. Shard well played. Committed to it early on and the execution. Bowled him. 15. The fastest for Pakistan is Yasir Shah. Who did that in nine. And Waka Yunus in ten. Stuck on the crease was Tendai Chisoro, bit of shape back into the left-hander, looked like a hint of reverse swing. However, Zimbabwe lose their eighth, 141 now for eight. For himself. Once again goes down early, helps it around the corner. Zimbabwe wins favouring. 
This doesn't surprise me from Zarabani. Once that uh, ball from a spinner gets above the eye line for him. Bang! While Mzarabani has oh, decided off halfway to the boundary. Full and bold. And what a wicket it is. A little bit of a one-two punch. Everybody, uh, maybe a little bit of chat out there on all the short balls uh, that he's going to receive. And then decides to go with a banker. Off stump Yorker knocking his poles over. And that's the end of... Uh, and, uh, as I say that, <coughs> Swivel punches this to the... He called it Tino, tried it, went slightly fuller, but this time to Rapano, up to the task. I think it Ball in, clean him up. Shaheen Shafridi on the top of his game. He, he's just uh, absolutely gotten it right. Has yeah, no, nothing more than a tail ender, and he's just bowled a perfect Yorker at him. Just one ball, and uh, Zimbabwe bowled out for 176. Right from the get-go, they were on the money. Not a single extra bolt in that uh, two sessions of play. The first of the two tests. And Zimbabwe won the toss, decided to seven and 28 not out from Tiripano. There are the partnerships there. Walked in and walked out. 176 is what they managed. Yep, Pakistan uh, getting Zimbabwe on the back foot early doors, moving to 50 wickets in the process. Well supported by the spinners out there today as well. And uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe was Zimbabwean bowlers, uh, or one of them. I'd go for the guys who just come. Supreme form and then the old rounder. Big rounds. A lot of work has been done. Morning, they'll be looking to make most of the new ball. Blessing and Ngarava. Yeah, what we've seen from him uh, is taken. First one on the money from this Zarabani. Very uh, West Indian like fast bowler. Just playing at something that he doesn't have to play at. Swivels on the front foot, finds the middle of the bat and races away to the boundary. Stick around, more runs here. This has got to be uh, worked upon. This leg stump line is not working for Zimbabwe with this new ball. What a shot. That's a beautiful shot. The length was. Short full face of the bat and what a delightful drive Imran but straight as an arrow. Players had to be in bubble for the length of that uh, period. Beautiful cut shot there. That one kept a bit low for Abed Ali. But and more runs within this over. He would have wished they had this over. No, that's short from Chisoro. And dealt with. Nice looking shot. This time he leaned into it and properly. Four runs to take with. Short again from Chisoro. And as was in the last over. That's going to be four runs. He's played that shot so well all afternoon against the spinners and now against the fast bowler. Trying. But uh, deciding to go the short route and creating half a chance. I know it's runs. But in a way, I think for Mazarabani and Brendan Taylor, that's a We're bit of a moral victory. As that moves him, Abid Ali, to uh, another to the previous stint. I'm just thinking back and, uh, of my playing days, what I'd be thinking in this situation. He did so well today. Picks up length, flat towards the square leg boundary, and was that a chance? Captain, one according to plan, it's his shot straight down the ground. That's uh, one of the shots of the day so far by Bat. Uh, conjure something up. No. And that's a good delivery, but um, a bit up to it. Two batters getting together. Here in Harare, which totally belonged to Pakistan. Too much, which is to be written in Yunus Khan's famous diary. Even clearly to Zimbabwean fielders. And perhaps both for Pakistan as well. So Pakistan started their innings in style and full dominance. Strong middle order to follow. And uh, completely the opposite for Zimbabwe. 
Just not really getting any bowling part. Just not enough maidens on that bowling card. And uh, tomorrow promises to be...